um, or had a great day, a blessed evening. It's uh, it's nice. It's about 11 o'clock, but I wanted to put this video out there so I can get some feedback ASAP. All right, so y'all know how I want to travel, right? And travel around to different cities and sort of do what we do in Kensington. Um, you know, even if it's on a smaller scale, just going around to uh, interact with different people that might need some help. Um, and some of you guys, some of the subscribers. Imagine how dope it would be if we could pull up and I pull up to New York and tell Tamika, yo, I'm downstairs, come down. Let's, uh, let's do a video real quick, right? Or I could pull up to Florida and tell you, yo, I'm here. Let's meet at a park. So the vision I have in my head to do that. Um, and also, like I said, to go to different cities and uh, maybe just do some free haircut, take some food, uh, stuff like that, just to show some love. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting um, an enclosed trailer. I'll put a couple pictures up right here. Um, all right, so what you're seeing right here is an enclosed trailer. Um, it's not big, but for real, all I really need is a place to cut hair, right? And then I can have the cameras set up in there um, so we could do the interviews in a little more privacy because you know that a lot of my interviews I do out in the street so it's noisy um, and I think if we do it in a private setting I believe that um, people will open up a little bit more and people will feel a little bit more secure right and um, I think that has a lot to do with them telling their stories so <clears throat> I'm thinking about getting an enclosed trailer um, I seen them for you know we could get something good for for uh, like $5,000. So what I'm looking for you guys to help me out with is suggestions. I need suggestions if you know places that build them, if you know places that manufacture these type of trailers, um, put them in the comment or send me an email at facesofkensington at yahoo.com. Shoot me an email, tell me if you know anybody that manufactures them. Um, because what I'm thinking is, I'll go to the plant that they manufacture them, the the you know the the place where they where they make them. I'll go there and I'd like to work on it, right? I'd like to help them build um, the trailer that eventually we're going to be able to travel with, right? So uh, I think that would be dope. And maybe you know even if they don't let me build, um, I'll clean up. I clean up the warehouse, you know, just to have some part in what they're doing. You know, I, I'm not um, not looking for any type of handouts, anything like that. I'm just trying to get in, a, in connection with somebody that they manufacture these type of trailers. And I'd love to get my hands dirty and work on it um, to help build the exact trailer that we're going to be traveling around with. Um, I was thinking about getting a camper also. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, so, you know... All I really need is space to cut hair, right, to do interviews, and that could be the same space. I could just put a backdrop down, set the camera up, um, and then maybe a small space to, like, put, like, a set of bunk beds um, and sleep in there. You know what I'm saying? When we're traveling, um, instead of having to spend money on hotels. So I think that would be dope. You know, we could put two bunk beds. Um, I think it'd be I think it'd be really cool. It seems like the the further south I get, the cheaper the prices are for them. So I'm assuming that maybe they're manufactured down south. Um, I found one company that's manufactured. It's out west. It's in California. Um, so I think it would be dope to reach out to you know their CEO or whoever's in charge, their vice president, president, whatever it might be. Reach out to them, tell them what we got going on, tell them what the channel's about, what we do, and um, Ask him if he'd be interested in, uh, you know, working with us. I think that that'd be, uh, I think that'd be extremely dope. I can hook it up to the truck. Uh, we could drive to the place, you know, set up, meet with some of you guys, of course. And, um, but the place I found in California, um, I was thinking, I was like, damn, it would be dope to make a vlog going out there. Right. And then working at the warehouse for the day. So the person would they'd be able to benefit a couple different ways. They'd be able to benefit, um, you know, the manufacturing company. They'd be able to benefit from getting the business, first of all, and then from the advertisement. You know, I think I think that could work out in a couple different ways from them. 
So what I need from you guys is some help doing some research, finding out where's the best place to purchase them, right? Um, and maybe some of you guys, maybe you guys, maybe one of you guys on here has one, don't use it, and you'd like to sell it. Um, if so, like I said, email me at facesofkensington at yahoo.com. Or if you know a manufacturing plant, let's get in touch with them and let's see what we could do. Um, I was thinking something like a, a 16 foot maybe. It's not huge, but it's it's um, enough space to get done what we need to get done. And uh, you know, I, I think it'd be I think it'd be dope. We just hook it up with you know some type of little air conditioner or something, maybe even a shower in there. So maybe um, you know we can we can allow people to get a haircut and take a shower or something, put on a fresh pair of clothes. I think that would definitely, um, you know, make somebody's day. I know that made my day. So, you know, it ain't nothing like being outside in the hot weather all day and then you get to take a shower, um, put on some fresh clothes and maybe get a fresh cut, you know. So um, I need y'all to hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, if you guys have any, have any connections, send them my way. Please, I thank you guys. Um, we're going to be announcing the winner to the giveaway tomorrow. Um, so that winner to the giveaway is going to be, uh, I haven't put it out there yet what they're going to receive, but it's going to be something real nice. Um, so good luck to everybody on that. We'll be, like I said, we'll be putting that out tomorrow. Um, I think that's about it. So I thank you guys, um, for all your support. You know, we're, we're, we have a dope community here. Like I tell you guys, every single time I get on live, um, I guarantee we have the dopest chat on YouTube um, so thank you guys for that we're about to hit 30,000 subscribers probably hit it uh, sometime this week so thank you guys for that that's that's a big deal um, so that's it I thank you guys like I said and uh, oh a matter of fact I got something else we made something special today to give to two children from the chat or from the channel so I'll uh, put that out there tomorrow but I think that's something that um, two kids are gonna really enjoy receiving all right, so I thank you guys. Have a great night. Remember, be kind to somebody tomorrow. Just give somebody a compliment out the blue. Tell them, you you know, you see them doing a good job. Um, you see them working hard. You know, just that type of shit means the world to people when they're going through something, right? You know, you're having a rough week and somebody tells you, oh, I see you, you're doing a good job. Um, that could turn somebody's whole week around, you know, and that could potentially turn the next week around, you know, and then the next week and turn their whole life around. So, um, you know, don't ever, ever underestimate the power of positivity and the power of just giving somebody an uplifting comment. So do that tomorrow and uh, we all have a good night. All right.